<laughs> Let's make a plane. To make this plane, I started out with a piece of eight quarter oak. Uh, I cross cut it to length about eight inches, uh, and then I ripped it to about three inches. Uh, you're going to cut away the sides, and when you cut the sides, you're going to lose the kerf of your blade to sawdust. That is, on my saw blade, about an eighth of an inch. So when you cut your sides off, you want to make sure to account for that eighth of an inch. You're going to leave a centerpiece that's going to be a little thinner than the plain iron that you plan to use. You can see the plain iron being made in part one of this series. There will be a link in the description. Then I took my center portion and first I cut a 60 degree angle on one side. I flipped it over and put a 45 degree bevel on the other side. The, the 45 degree will be what the plain iron rides on. I glued everything back together uh, being careful not to get glue on the area that's going to be exposed on the inside. Uh, it would be unnecessary, it would waste glue, and it would also be hard to clean up once everything's glued together. I made sure to line everything back up the way it was. I clamped it. Had to take a hammer to it a few times just to get everything straight. You know when you squeeze the glue, the wood tries to move around. After the glue dried, I took, it's just a piece of plywood with sandpaper on it and I sanded the bottom to where it was flat. And then took a card scraper to the sides and just kind of tried to pretty pretty those up a little bit. Um, I had to take the card scraper to the bottom as well because it didn't get completely flat from the sandpaper. Uh, my next step was to make the plain iron fit the um, since the hole was thinner. I'd rather be too thin than too wide. So I took a quarter inch file and filed it out until I had a pretty snug fit. You don't want it to fall through too loose. Uh, then I took a flat file and I just cleaned up the, the mouth of the plane a little bit. And then I took the, the piece that I had cut out and I put it in there so that when I drill these holes I won't have any tear out in the bottom. It'll just drill into that piece that is a waste piece anyway. You want to make sure that these holes line up because you're going to put a dowel rod through there. When I glued in the dowel rod, I went ahead and put it through one side so that I only had to put glue on the part that's going to be in contact with the wood. Because like I said before, it's hard to clean that out. I took the wedge that was cut out of the center and cut out the what becomes the wedge that holds the iron in. And I took a file, got it, got all the rough edges off from the bandsaw, and got it to where it would fit. Then I did a test fit, looked everything over. You see I got a shaving off of it. Then I needed to take the card scraper and sandpaper and get the final uh, finish on there. I uh, sanded it down to 220. I put a, a chamfer on, the, on all the edges so that there's no splinters or anything. And then I finished it with boiled linseed oil and after that dried I put
paste wax on it. After this, I took it for a test drive. It didn't take a whole lot of tweaking to get to where I was getting pretty good shavings. Uh, I know it looks weird that I'm using this right on my bench top, but I'm still in the process of building this bench, so I'm using this to smooth my top. I made this plane for James Wright's uh, 2017 hand tool build off. And today is the day before the deadline. So I was right down to the wire in getting it done. Um, if I would have used a pre-made iron, it would have done a lot, been done a lot sooner. But this one I like because it was completely handmade. There will be a link in the description for the Wood by Wright channel. He'll have a playlist with all the other entries into the contest. Um, you can also win this plane. Every entry into the contest will also be a prize in a giveaway of another contest. So stay tuned for that. Uh, I want to thank you for watching. Please check me out on Instagram. I am Joe Pierce Maker on Instagram. I'd also appreciate if you would uh, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, once again, thank you for watching. Have a great day.